Hey, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right video. Today we are going to be planting a salad mix and some other mixed greens. And I'll be showing you guys how I do that with my Earthway Cedar and giving you guys a few tips here and there along the way. So stay tuned through the whole video because there's lots of little gold nuggets in there. Right, so now I'm ready to plant, and I'm going to make my salad mix. So in my salad mix, I'm going to be putting a red salad bowl, rogue dehiver, loya rosa, it's a little red leaf, butter crunch is a nice green leaf, and then a Paris Island romaine. The most accurate way to do this is to weigh it out, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use like a measuring cup, because it's all lettuce seed, so it's about the same. And I'm going to put one third cup in a bag of each. So that's my first one. Butter crunch. I really like this lettuce. Just going a little under a third of a cup. Now binder clips are my favorite for keeping these seed bags closed. Paris Island. Alright, I've got all five in. I'm just gonna mix it up. There's my seed mix. So that's lettuce. I do a salad mix, which will be lettuce, kale, tatsoi, some other things, and then I'll do another mix which will have my spice mix, which will be like arugula, tatsoi, mizuna, lettuce, that kind of stuff. We're back out here in the morning and the beds are all soaked in and wet. And I just added some worm castings. You can see I spread them out everywhere. It's gonna help inoculate the beds with some beneficial bacteria. There was a lot of earthworms in there. They're gonna help start to dig up the ground and make it a little softer and nicer and add more bacteria and nutrients. Um, and then of course the worm castings themselves are absolutely packed with micronutrients um, and NPK. What I wanna do now is just water this in a little bit just to help penetrate the fertilizer into the ground. Um, so, you know, I could have done this at the broad fork stage. That's a good time to do it. Spread it out, broad fork, rake everything, get the bed set. But because I have so many rocks and dirt clods, I would end up like throwing a bunch of it away because I rake the beds and then I make all these piles of rocks. Inevitably, a bunch of that worm castings would get stuck in there and I'd be taking it out. And then as the plants grow up, we're gonna get rain in a few weeks, I'm sure, and then that'll help to penetrate it down even more. So these twist nozzles are really great because they can shoot at really high pressure and shoot at a very far distance. These are awesome, you should always have one of these around so you can just stand in one spot and shoot the entire yard. All right, so that's it for my uh, salad mix stuff here. It'll all be sprouted and ready to cut for the first time, and I'll be using my greens cutter for the first time. Red ocean kale, salad mix, a spice mix, and then lettuce mix. So in the future, what I really want to try to do is uh, water with overhead uh, for direct sown things like this, so I wouldn't be using my drip tape. I'd just use like a tripod style sprinkler, 
um, and spray this area to get it wet. And that's good for a couple of reasons because crops sprout up from their direct sown. Sometimes the lines can kind of get in the way because they're pretty wide and I use four of them. It's kind of an issue, especially with root crops. Another reason is when I come in with my greens cut harvester, I'm gonna be a little bit worried about the lines. Sometimes they come up like that. Um, so I just wanna be really careful not to cut the lines. So I think having the lines out of the way would be kind of nice too. All right guys, I hope that was helpful to you and you were able to learn a few things about direct seeding salad mixes. And today actually, it is August 1st, 2018, and I filmed this video last fall in 2017. And I've been using my Earthway Seeder for a very long time, and most recently, I just got this guy. This is the Johnny Seeds Six Rose Seeder, and I just seeded my first beds with it. So far, so good. It is definitely a much more difficult seeder to use than the Earthway, but once you get it figured out, it does, in one pass, it can do six rows, so you can get a 12 row bed in two passes and check out the beds they look pretty nice so i did lettuce mix beet greens lettuce mix this is totsway so stay tuned for a future video about this cedar and how to use it